we're back. It's been a minute. I've been having kind of a rough month, so this is kind of taking a back burner to making sure I'm good and my family's been good. So hopefully here we'll get all this stuff done because it is definitely right in season now, boys. Can't wait. But I knew this was coming this year. So today I'm going to drop the oil, going to pull off the right crankcase cover. We're going to be doing the uh, clutch springs in there. And hopefully all that goes fairly smoothly. So just quick, I'm gonna throw the AMS oil, motorcycle oil. It's meant for motorcycles, wet clutches, those type of things. It's got the right um, ratings and everything so that you're not actually hurting your clutch. So I like to go with the synthetic. I don't think there's any issue with switching to that these days. Also throwing on Wix, Wix filter, 51334. Just quick, drop the oil. Looks good. If I see anything in it, I'll show you, but I don't think anything was there. So, good to go. Just taking a quick look. We gotta get all these bolts off to get the clutch cover off. But it looks like everything can kind of stay in place. It looks like I just loose up the brake pedal if I needed to. There is a bolt. There. Um, so pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Oh, just like that, boys. Just give me a sec. I'll just pull this off. Put the guys down here. No, that's not a good angle at all. Welcome to the radio. <laughs> Okay, I did it. Uh, I took the brake pedal, or the, the, the foot plate off, sorry. Pedal's still there, but that should be fine. So basically what I have today to do is I'm gonna inspect these guys. If they're super bad, I guess I'm gonna have to order a new one. But my thought is potentially, pardon me, is that the springs themselves behind these these bolts are a little worn out so I have new ones of those uh, I have sandpaper we can deglaze um, the current discs and everything we got just in case they're glazed over I mean looking in here honestly stuff looks in pretty good condition so I don't know if the uh, starter clutch was rebuilt at some point but I mean everything just looks to be in good shape the cover popped off very cleanly um, haven't pulled, tried to pull that gasket off yet. Um, it looks like someone's been in here before because it looks like it's been RTV'd a little bit maybe. But, doesn't look like there's much cleanup to do. Some of the bolts I could tell either were already snapped off partially. Um, or they snapped on me, but I think all of them... Are long enough that I'm not going to necessarily try and get those out of those deep holes yet if I can't get this to seal properly and things like that obviously there's gonna be things we might have to do I really don't want to go down that road though as everyone knows so let's do uh, these clutch springs I'm gonna pop those off quick it should just be popping off these five bolts and uh, see what goes there I'm gonna do it slowly in a star pattern just kind of break them all loose first and then just slowly back them off one by one just in case uh there's a little pressure built up behind it okay this thing is pretty handy guys this bolster thing not not an ad literally i didn't i bought it and it just allows you to put the bolts exactly like where you took them away from so like here's the cr crankcase cover I just put this one up to the side a little bit because that's the one I know that I started on right here. So now I know exactly where each bolt came from. So same with the clutch. I now know exactly where each spring and bolt came from. I can put them exactly back where they were. So um, just looking at the clutch on the outside, I, I'm not a, an expert, but it, it looks either glazed over or 
worn out. Um, I got to look. I just didn't realize I think my calipers are out of batteries right now and sitting at home. So uh, I'm going to look at it. Just might hit them with a little bit of sandpaper uh, real fast just to get that deglazing off. You're not trying to take any material away. And uh, just see what they look like from there. Uh, I think they definitely need to be done. So we'll be back. Um, just looking at everything there. Uh, looking good. So just comparing the new and old springs. The new ones definitely feel a little stiffer. Um, you can tell the coils are a little... A uh, little thicker in uh, diameter, but overall height, they look pretty similar. So the springs could have just been old at this point. So I don't think they were necessarily flat and none of them were broken. So just going to throw the new springs in there. We're going to get to deglazing those uh, discs quick, see what they look like. So I just, I honestly don't think there's much life left in this clutch. Just looking at, like I said, I, my calipers don't have batteries right now, but just looking at the, it, I'm just gonna do this as an experiment to see with changing the springs and this. Does it solve what I was thinking it would solve, which was at high RPM only would I get some clutch slip. If I really wound out the gear in every gear, I wouldn't get it at all. So I was thinking it was the springs, looking at the clutch. It's probably a little of both, but I'm going to throw this back in for today just because I don't have anything else to throw in it. I want to put it at least back together. I think at this point I'll probably be ordering one. No idea how quickly I can get it. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, if it still slips, we just know that we got to get back in this thing and we got to do this again. So I think that's where we're at. I think we're gonna throw this all back together. Everything else looks pretty good. Everything inside the, the crankcase, like as far as I can see, just is good looking. No w weird wear anywhere that I can see. You know, maybe a spring was bounding up over here. Um, right here there's just some weird marks on there so you know there could have been a couple of things i might just look at those quick hit them with some steel wool in case i feel anything on them um yeah that's pretty worn in there oh yeah so never mind on that uh i thought it looked good no now that i look at it Definitely some uh, coil bindage it looked like going on in there. Potentially. So, you know, this might become a bigger project than I ever wanted it to be. But, uh, you know, for today, we're going to do what we do best, buds. We're going to send it and we get this back together. All right. The clutch is back in. We are torqued. So... Just a quick tip. These boys, I got a lot of warnings reading and doing my research online about these breaking easily. So you could either go with the snug method, go about, you know, maybe, you know, an eighth of a turn. <laughs> Disclaimer, my advice is an amateur's advice. So do not necessarily uh, get mad at me if something happens here. Also, these are old bikes. So Make sure you're just very careful with those. You can throw a little Loctite on them. I, I just bumped them up an inch, a few inch pounds at a time, got them to about six foot pounds, which is about the lower limit of the spec. Once again, I kind of think I'm going to be in here again soon, so I'm not too worried. I'm not going to throw Loctite on them because sometimes that's actually going to hurt you on the other side. So uh, I'm going to get this crankcase cover at least back in place. Uh, well, I got to clean the gasket off first, so I'm going to do that quick. Hopefully that's fairly smooth and uh, then try to just throw that back on. Um, I have a brand new gasket I'm going to use. Uh, I might use just a little RTV on each side just for uh, the old classic backup. But Well, this gasket is definitely stuck, so I think I'm going to have to go get some chemicals or something to help me get this off. The stuff I have with me just is not going to cut. I mean, I got some of it off. It's just stuck. It's just old. So... Most likely, this is going to be continued. 
I'm gonna go and find what I need to get this done. Hopefully slap back that, that back together, get oil in it, all that jazz. And uh, hopefully that'll be tomorrow. Until next time, boys. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for coming. Out.